Brown, Chicago Bears Club Championship. Let's kick it off, folks, as the NFC North picture starting to come clearer and clearer. And BG will take it out to the 26-yard line. That's where he'll begin. Let's take a look at those playbooks, and here he comes out with the Raiders. Yeah, running that Raiders playbook, but we're going to see him. He's going to be an under center a lot, but he's going to have that Andrew Luck with the escape artist. He's not going to have the jukebox running back. I believe he has Pollard back there. And for QC, he's going to be rocking that Jets D. That Jets defense. He's probably going to be running a lot of 3-4 odd, nickel over G. You know, mixing it up, seeing what he can do to stop the run and pass. Well, we, you saw the earlier stats. He has not fared well against the run leading up to this. But that's the thing. You, you know, you play the day before. You get a chance. Now you know your opponent. Do a little homework and then come in and see what you can do. Five minutes on the clock. It's going to be a 20-minute ball game as they set up their audibles, getting ready to go and see who's going to represent the Chicago Bears here in the NFC North. And what an upset it was yesterday as Canes got bounced. I saw him on Twitter say, hey, this guy's running things I've never seen before, and it just came up a bit short. First and 10 from the 26. Luck hands it off to him. Early. And there goes Tyreek. Cross midfield. 25, like 15, 10, like 5, touchdown, BG. That's exactly how you want to start a game, Scott. Make it easy. You know, BG is probably not the best offensive player, but when you're able to break one easy and you get out there, it makes you way more comfortable on defense. <laughs> One play, one score as Tyreek Hill rips off 74 yards. And it's all smiles. And he'll kick it away. It's QC, the man from Canada. Take it across the 30. He runs into a big hit. And that's where the market. Look at it again here, Mo. Maybe some nerves there out of QC. It looks like if he would have contained that left side a little bit more, he would have had an easy tackle. He just dives down a little bit early, gives up a wide open touchdown. Tyreek Hill into the end zone. You can see the reaction. A little bit of laugh. Diabolical opening drive. Almost, almost an evil laugh, right? <laughs> like, wasn't even just a laugh. Just, just real evil with it. But we're going to see uh, QC come right back with that Barry Sanders, who's kind of the, the Tyreek Hill of running backs. You know, he's, he's, a, he's got that small frame. He'll probably be sneaking through there, but he's spinning that cap, whereas BG's saving a lot of cap because he's not having to use a running back, and he can just sneak a wide receiver back there. Of course, Barry Sanders played his college ball at Oklahoma State. Didn't get a lot of carries or love in the first couple of years. That's because there was a guy by the name of Thurman Thomas who was the head man at Oak Ake State. On. They didn't play freshman back then, Mo, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Take a run play, please. 7 nothing here early yep. after a 74-yard run for BG, and now he's got a chance to play some defense. A little bit of motion. Probably see him motioning back. Yep, yep, yep. I can Stretch. say as a Bears fan, <laughs> this number 20 right here That's certainly That's gave us nightmares for, for, for many years. Looked like he might have had some space out there to the right, but he, he just goes right, runs into a defender, tries to juke out of it. He's going to spend all that cap on Barry. He certainly got to get loose to the outside. Second and eight. Had a good day of Madden so far. A couple good games. This one should be one as well. As he falls forward to the 37-yard line, it's going to be a third and three. Too easy, too easy. That's a gain of six. Brings up third and three. This is a really big down, Sky. If, if he gets into a tough situation here on fourth down, he's going to have to pass. He doesn't want to be in that situation. Not been to many live events. You always kind of just want to have your first drive be an easy one. High formation. Got to get past the 40-yard line to continue the drive. Already down a touchdown. 90 is a mic. And he'll hand it off to Barry. And he'll go absolutely nowhere. There's Brian Erlacher with a huge tackle for loss. And here comes fourth down. That's it. And you spent your first three plays yep, running the yep, ball. Stretch. What are you going to do now in fourth and five? You're in a position where you have to pass the football. You're coming out on this I-form wing, but you're not going to fool BG. He knows you're going to be passing here. He knows you're not going to be running. Tom Brady on fourth down, throws it into coverage, and it's going to be a turnover on downs, and BG's got the ball back. 
Just way too easy. Way too easy of a defensive possession there for BG. You just contain the run and then you have your opponent on a tough fourth down. Coming out on I form, not going to have very many options to pass the ball there. He's still talking to him. Tyreek almost got loose again. All the way down to the 24. That'll be a first and 10. And from what I'm seeing, QC is going to have to find a different defense. Got to call a different play. That defense looks like it has absolutely no chance of stopping that dog. Oh, yep, switch it up. I like that. BG was putting up 123 yards in the online portion of the tournament. Certainly a chunk of those coming in the air. So he's he sort of shift gears as the game has shifted along. And a couple title ups. Of course, we get a few new items that come out. And Madden Ultimate Team, that can certainly make you change your whole game plan. Second and three. Gives Tyreek Hill a break, Let hands it off to here. Pollard, the rookie, and he'll get to the 13. Tyreek just falling forward, then he puts in Pollard, and Pollard just takes a huge hit stick. Probably makes you want to go right back to Tyreek, maybe fall over, fall, fall over a little better than, than Pollard would. So we're down in the red zone. At the 13 yard line, 153 to go here in the first quarter between BG and QC. BG looking to go up two scores here early. Andrew Luck up under center, tight ends for days. Back to Tyreek. And something I noticed, QC did switch from that user in that uh, Jabril Peppers. He went to the Troy Powell model. Going to give you a little bit more speed. Going to fill those lanes a little bit better. Much better player. Well, those first two games we saw had tremendous pace. You, know, you saw a lot of quick snaps. The game was really moving along. Certainly with the Bears, they have taken the air out of the football. Already nearly four minutes gone by. Marvin Harrison comes in motion, hands it off to Tyreek. And he'll work his way inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. QC has changed up his run defense a little bit. He's just looking to contain it. He's playing a little bit further back with his safety, kind of serving as that last line of defense and letting the inside work. I like that. He, he was getting a little too impatient, and that's why he broke the big runs before. This is, five. this is a huge down for QC. You've got to hold him here. You cannot allow your opponents to go up two touchdowns. Ocean's out hill. And low throw. Marvin Harrison will pull it in at the two, and most importantly, it's first and goal. And that's what we've seen BG doing versus Keynes. He was airing it out a lot, making Keynes really, really uncomfortable on defense. It looks like he did the same there because every button was open. That might be the final play of the quarter. He's going to run it, though. Blocked by Tyreek. Untouched into the end zone, and BG now up two scores. Extra point up and good. Seven plays, 34 yards. And that took three minutes, Mo, to go 34 yards. Yep, and, and that's that's how BG wants to play. That was as good as it can get for BG. Use some clock, able to get seven, up two possessions. He couldn't be feeling any better right now. And Tyreek spins his way to the 34. QC, the man from Canada. QC got to get it going. QC has a really good opportunity here to salvage this half, though. There's, he's going to be getting the ball to start the second quarter. Obviously, there's 11 seconds left. Probably just run the ball here. And if he's able to milk out the clock, score with maybe a minute 30 left, maybe put BG in an uncomfortable position where you know he's going to have to pass, maybe get a stop before halftime. But the most important thing is getting points on this drive. That's the voice of Sirius Mo, two-time belt winner, including... The Madden 20 Classic, just back in August, there in Arlington, Texas. Once we're coming to you live from Redwood City, the home of EA. And that should take us to quarter number two. We talked about the talking. And there's that evil laugh again. Yeah, that's creepy, Scott. I don't like that at all. BG, really feeling good after the first five minutes. Got one of those Grinch looks on him. A little grin. Trying to ruin the holidays for QC. 14 to nothing as we start the second quarter. Got some space. Trading outside with Barry. Barry's got a blocker. And he'll try to get to the outside, but Troy will bring him down at the 35. 
best play of the day for QC. Just a great play call. You could tell right when he snapped the ball, there was a ton of space out there. He was really patient with Barry, but his fullback wasn't able to get out there and make that block. I know we got a lot of Bears fans in the chat. We just had the Lions. I got to know, chat, who's better, Barry or Walter Payton? I could have a three-hour broadcast on that topic alone as he hands it to Barry. What did I tell you? Yeah, it won't go anywhere. Ball to 37. I mean, You're a Cowboys fan. Don't, don't bring that Emmett Smith into really this conversation. Hey, man. He's not even on the same block. In your opinion, Scott, when you say crazy <laughs> things like that, you have to say, in my opinion. Never going to work. Second and 12. Wait, 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 wait. You see, trying to bring it back to a one score <laughs> game. Play you going to here. Time formation. What's the word? After the loss of two. Going back to that stretch. Going back to that stretch that worked for him early. Hands it off to Barry. Barry. Got Troy to beat. And Palomalu and then Brian Erlacher will come over there and finish it off. Looked like he juked maybe a little bit earlier there. If he just waits just another second, might have faked Troy Palomalu out, but he's not. But something I'm noticing is BG's really, really prepared. BG rolls around that crew with Oreo and K-Mac. They, they play really good defense. They, they know all the meta runs. He's going to be prepared for that. So you're going to have to show him something spread. he hasn't seen before. That'll bring him a third and seven from the 31. First time in field goal range for QC. Flips it to the other side. You can't take a sack here. You just have to get points. Brady, quick drop, quick throw. Has a blocker outside. Jones picks up the first down. Great patience waiting on that block. Great, great route combination right there. You know, normally you see those guys whiff on those blocks. He, he's able to get Dante Howell out there and block. Holds him, just, just chips him just long enough to where he's able to get around him and pick up the first down. He had a double makeshift. 248 to go here in the first half. And this is setting up for a really good drive for QC. He's going to use some of that clock, but is he going to be able to get seven points? First and ten. Brady changing up a few things to bring Dante in motion. Hands it off. Sanders falls forward to the 23. Not much there. And if you're QC, it's really important you take this down to the two-minute warning. You don't want to give BG the, the ball back with two minutes left, even if you break a run here. So you, you just need to get Barry fully energized so you're able to run the ball. But I kind of like when, when he's passed the ball. He's, it looks like he's able to get his guys in space. BG's setting up the run defense, and he's in a run formation. So if you're able to just sneak some passes out there to Barry Sanders in space, maybe that's a little bit better of an idea than running the ball with him. Hey, we will hit the two-minute warning. He is... Coming up on the 11th play. And as you guys know, out on YouTube, you can see all 32 of the club championship finals on the Madden competitive gaming. And Barry, one cut, and he's in the end zone, and we got a ball game. Great stick work there, and he scored with two minutes left. If he's able to hold BG's run, maybe two downs gets him into a third and five. BG's going to be forced to pass. This is a really good timing to score. Seven plays, 67 yards, taking up 315. Even after giving up a score, BG still talking. Pitch it back to Dion. Dion with a spin move. And they'll mark him down at the 29 yard line. Look at this again. Classic Sanders. Great cut there. You know, you see a lot of players take that outside and just get tackled for a seven or eight yard gain. C realizes he has the lane open to cut it back and scores a touchdown. I don't remember Barry doing that behind the head dive into the end zone, but. <laughs> Barry just did a lot of out running and, and spinning. <laughs> There's Pollard. Backup running back will take it to the 32. I like to see QC go to this big nickel. He's not going to be stopping those runs for losses, but he is going to be containing them a little bit better. That 3-4 odds more of like a boom or bust defense. I like this contain. Kind of just keep them in front of you. Don't give up a big run. All to the outside is Andrew Luck. Escape artists. Look for the tight end on the delay route. And he'll throw it across his body. And the bullet pass inaccurate. It'll fall to the turf. Here comes a third and six, Mo. 
It looked like the tight end blocked for just a little bit too long on that delay route. He wanted it a cinnamon on a streak, so he kind of was trying to buy time, buy time with Andrew Luck. Goes too far back, and that's why you see that inaccurate throw. 14 to 7. Really 115 to go here ball. in the first half. Hey, All three timeouts for both our competitors. Look for Hall out the backfield here on the wheel. Luck. Great defense. Nothing there. Extending the play and throwing out of coverage. Oh, and here comes fourth wow. down. Exactly. Great here defense. BG saying, man, that was like stupid. Weekend. Yeah, just great wow. defense there by QC. BG going to elect a punt. Wow. This is a huge opportunity for QC. Even if you can get three points, you're yeah, back gotta, in control of this game because you're getting proof. the ball at half. I got to play stupid too. This is ridiculous. Kicks it away. We almost had a roughing the punter there in the backfield. And here's Tyree wow. making moves. Come on. And the drive will start at the 35 for QC. And as I mentioned before, Mo, all three timeouts. Yeah, but you're still able to run the ball, but you got to get positive yards here. If you get stopped on, on first down for a two-yard loss, you're not going to be able to run the ball anymore. That's all you do is run the ball every play. Every play. X3, 218, chop it. I don't know why he's complaining out of running the ball. <laughs> Probably just trying to it get his opponent ahead. Funny, right? Probably makes him want to pass the ball. You know, he's trying to trick him. Barry. Works his way to the 43. Man. Clock will this be on the move. There's a runoff. Second Stretch. and two. Stretch left. Flips the play. Barry. Get out of bounds. Yeah, he will do that, partner, out at the 48-yard line. Clock stopped 38 seconds ago now in the half. That's smart. Now you can just let Barry get rejuvenated without having to burn a timeout. Just really, really smart right there if he, just to contain that outside. So that'll be a first down and plus territory. Here for QC. Still has all his timeouts here to work before the half. And as we certainly have mentioned before, he's going to get the ball to start. Half number two, so he has a chance to no, no, no. double dip the chip. Both hand in. Check, check. Let's go on. No, 66. Up under center. Alabama, Alabama. Hey, both 66. Brady. Cross the post. Picked up Give the pressure and Troy Palomalu That's for six. jumps the Don't rock. pass. Don't pass. Don't and pass. And Barry Sanders don't will do take it. him down. Don't do it. And now the script is certainly flipped. BG has a chance. Here before the end you of the half. You played Madden for months. Critical mistake by QC play. right there. He had plenty of time to just run the ball, get get a field goal. There wasn't a very strong chance of scoring a touchdown anyways. I don't Not like him why. passing the ball there. And Pollard stumble his way to the 31. And he'll use his first time out. You know, BG a little bit more experienced than QC. We'll probably see him run the ball and just take his points. He's 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 got a seven point lead. So look for look for that. But if he's able to break a run, he's obviously going to take it. Was that 81 speed, Derek Brooks? He pretty cool. Tyreek takes it to the 25. He'll use his second timeout. One remaining with 22 seconds now left in the quarter. Andrew Luck one more time as Pollard makes his way into the backfield. Harrison in motion. Pollard will tote it. Got some space. Got some blocking to the outside. Will he get out of bounds? He will. Inside the red zone at the 12-yard line, and now he's in business. I'm not even going to pass it, dude. You this was where it gets kind of tricky, though, Scott, because he so had no intentions on trying to score a touchdown. Now he's at the 12-yard line, but he's only got that one timeout, so he has to pass the ball if he's you trying to get a touchdown. So it, it gets a, it's really, really tough down here because you're already up by seven. I would probably just run the ball and go to half up by 10, but a lot of players do get aggressive in these spots. But it looks like he is going to just run the ball. Hands it off to Hill. And Tyreek will spin his way to the eight-yard line. And he's just going to take the points here. Smart by QC not to burn that timeout and give BG an extra play, noticing that BG still has that timeout. So run it down. He'll be the one to use his final timeout, and he'll send his kicker out there to try to make it a 10-point game. Pretty good half here for BG. And that's Dude, points he certainly shouldn't have got, though. Yeah, QC had a great opportunity right there. He scores seven when he's down 14 nothing. He had a great opportunity to kind of take back control of the game, and he just let it go. 17-7. BG's been doing a lot of talking, and we got him wired up here at the club. Freak! <laughs> Stop running!
Fourth and five. What do you call it? Look what happened. I can tell you don't know how to stop this. I might just run this all game. Don't pass. Don't pass. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Well, he's feeling himself. He's up 10. And that look says it all, Mo. Yeah, he's ready to go. He's played a really good game. Hasn't had to pass the ball a whole lot at all. Tyreek is getting loose right now in QC. 17 to 7. QC will start with it here in the third and maybe a must score situation. Tyreek passed the 30. Got uh -oh. room to the outside. Come on, man. Get out of the way. Thank you. I mean, they got a big they return out to midfield. They'll mark it right at the 50 yard line. But he had one man to beat, and I think it was his own man. Yeah, I'm just not real sure why he's even kicking to that guy, anyways. You know, you can kick it to the fullback, get him out of bounds at about the 25 yard line almost every time on this game. So I really don't like to see him kick to Tyreek. Kind of open himself up there. Saw Boogs win the Atlanta Falcons Club Championship by somebody kicking to Tyreek. And there's Barry, gets away from one. Scott Cole, serious Mo with you. Here at the start of the second half, QC got all of Canada on his shoulders here, trailing by 10. RG and I made a trip up to Toronto, Canada. That's the first time we met QC and a tournament up there. And it's good to see him here in the clubs, but he's got some work to do. Brady. Nothing. Buying time, he's going up top. Who is Oshagany or whatever, <laughs> whatever this dude's name is like. Did he just break out the key and peel? If he had a better yeah, tight end, he probably would have loosened, loosened the coverage up a little bit. He would have been able to throw that outside. Uh-oh. And, and yeah. there goes Barry Sanders. Denzel Ward so will catch sorry. him. Dion will catch him. This is a, this Touchdown, is insane, BG. This is and what happened this right there so at the sorry, start of the play, man. BG had, was setting adjustments and accidentally hit stick with his user. It's my apology, ooh, QC, ooh. on the big on the big run there to make it a three-point game. So all that talking, and QC comes back I'm with so Barry. Awesome. Spin all that cap. Got to make it work. Yeah. And we got a three-point game. BG just didn't have the run defense set up right there. You gotta be, you gotta be set up. You can see him upset with himself. Look at it again here, Mo. QC breaking off a big run. As you seen at the snap, he was using that Troy Palomalu, but right when he snapped the ball, it looked like he just hit stick down, and that's why there is no safety over top. You know, Evan talked about this was the alphabet soup game. A lot of, a lot of letters in this one. Absolutely. And you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of nervous for QC right now. I don't like him bringing his linebackers all the way down to the line of scrimmage. So a three-point ball game, second and eight. It's a big drive for BG. Ten-point lead has evaporated. BG may be a little bit nervous. We've seen him come to the eye tight almost every drive, and now he's running strong close, looking to pass the ball. I don't, I don't know why he's doing this. Move Tyreek to the right side. They'll stack it up. He'll bring him back. He's got him. That's so good going up man. top, Marvin That's Harrison so beats <laughs> Troy Palomalu. Where you at? And BG Woo! cooks one That's up. So good shit, man. Woo! Just a, That's so good shit. That's so good shit. That's so good shit. BG says, that's Marvin, like just being Marvin. Know, you know, Former Syracuse Argeman. Yeah. That's why I'm not a pro, man. See ya. That's why I'm not a pro. I know that Skimbo yeah, played for me. Take it to his fullback so he can't get lucky. 24 to 14. I'll get it to the 31 yard line. He sets it up and it's beautiful. Yeah, QC hasn't been able to stop the run very well, so he kind of commits everybody to the run and that's why Marvin Harrison's able to sneak out for a touchdown. And all he could do is laugh. Come on, bro. He's got to bounce back it's here. Over. He's, he's Only grounded. seven passing yards in the game for QC. That's because he's, he's been working with Barry. Yeah, he's got really good stick work with that Barry. I'm noticing he's not missing very many holes, but what, what happened was he, ha he got into a tough situation and went away from that run, and he probably shouldn't have done that. QC coming to the game, putting up 156 yards in the rushing attack. 
I got him. That's, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's bottled him. up. What you gonna do when Erlacher and in when the you have that right handed quarterback, Scott? What you gonna they, do when they Erlacher hand off those you left hand when you're handing off to the left side no of the, the, the line of scrimmage the on the dives, they hand it off a lot slower, and that's why you've seen that his players were able to shoot in. Bears legend Brian Erlacher coming in on the stop. And Sanders. What are you gonna do here? Gets to the edge. Here comes a fourth and three. Sort of feels like maybe fourth in the game. What's the move it does. Like? And you know, it's, you it's, it's a tough situation because, you know, Barry's kind of carried the load so far, and you, you almost need him to again. I, I would probably look to run the ball. It says fourth and three, but it's probably more like fourth and two and a half. It looked like he was able to get a couple yards there. I wouldn't completely roll out, rule out running the ball here. BG had that big upset over Canes, who had won back to back. I knew you were Bears good. Club Championships. That's 20 to 14 in that game. Oh That'll pick God. up the first down. Spinning his way to the 43. Huge fourth down conversion. Looked like he's seen something there, so Scott. He goes back to the no huddle. Back to Barry. It won't let me be perfect. And Barry. I look like that might have been five. Yeah, second and five. As he was met right at the line of scrimmage. But you see that all that agility paying off for Barry. And that's why you pay him all that cap with the jukebox. You know, he's always going to be able to get out in space, but he's able to fall forward because he is that best version of Barry Sanders. You always know when he gets around harvest time, Thanksgiving time in Madden, that you're going to see a Barry Sanders come rolling out. Look good so far. He's also the Madden 25 cover athlete, a.k.a. Madden 14. Second and five. We're gonna see a pass here, I think. Has it thrown it much? Picks up the blitz. Great and it wide I open is Tyreek no. along the boundary to the 24. And now he's starting to talk back. QC's starting to find his rhythm a little bit. I think if he's able to score, he's got a real chance of stopping BG on this next drive. French Canadian QC getting fired up. I might have heard some French words in there. Four letter variety. Ooh. As Barry works, yeah, it's going to lose a yard. 19 carries for 152 two touchdowns for QC. It looked like if he didn't juke there, he would have had that outside. He just juked a little bit early, didn't think his guy was going to block, but he was able to lay that block and he just jukes right into him. Put your fours up. Here in San Francisco, we got a good one here between QC and BG. And if you want to watch this one later, you can certainly do that out on our YouTube. We've had three great ball games here today. Tom Brady once again. Where's the stretch going? He'll move the tight end and it'll go that way. Barry will stretch it out. He has no, he has no and Troy will gather him up at the 22 yard line. Palomalu with another stop. That's his fifth on the day. Here comes a third and eight. Looks like he's going to go stretch again, maybe. Certainly in field goal range, but the clock's starting to come a factor. Barry goes right by Troy, and we're back to a three-point game pinning the BAT. QC won't go away. And BG had the containment, but he just didn't have confidence in his user. He clicked off. If he would have just stayed on with his user and conservative tackle, he would have been able to make that tackle. Instead, he, he hoped the computer could make it happen for him, and just Barry's just way too fast. Now he needs a stop as BG will get it back. And he'll fall down at the 25, but man, how about this Barry Sanders? Watch him click off. Yep, just cuts it right in front of that, that computer player. He just dumbs out a little bit and is able to get up the field. Showed him the controller there at the end. First and 10. Tyreek gets through the line and then awkwardly falls down at the 29. Second and six. Something I worry about for BG. It almost feels like he's kind of brought out all his tricks, right? So is he going to be able to just grind out a drive running the ball? Because this passing attack, I think he's used all his pass plays. And 
I just don't know if it's going to be able to be sustainable. I would like to see him just run the ball, milk the clock, because I don't like him passing the ball in these situations. Dante Hall will move to the outside, to the air. Nice low throw. Marvin Harrison has been doing some work. That's his third grab. Every pass he's completed has been to Marvin. Three receptions for 87 yards now. And they're all wide open. You know, he hasn't even been close to being covered. High formation, two tight ends so here on first and 10. Three point lead here for BG. Gonna see another dive to Tyreek here. Stretch. And stretches it outside. A little one cut as he jukes his way to the 40. BG's not missing those opportunities to juke. I'm noticing he's really, really good with the juke at timing it or knowing exactly when to do it. Even if he's not juking the player, he's able to fall forward because he's juking at just the right time. Montez Sweat on the tackle, his second of the day. We'll bring up a second and five. 2.45 to go in the ball game. BG trying to hold on and represent the Bears in their 100th season. Here in the NFL, Pollard absolutely goes nowhere. And that's why I liked, right there. I liked when I seen Tyreek getting the ball, Scott. It was like Tyreek was almost guaranteed to get five every time he touched it. Goes to Pollard a lot slower than Tyreek Hill and gets stuffed in the backfield. QC talking about that's game. I don't know if he means it in favor of him or his opponent. This is going to take us down to the two-minute warning. We have a third and five, Mo. Both players with all three timeouts here to close out the game. Yeah, and I think QC is starting to realize he's he's running out of opportunities to get these stops, Scott. He has to get a stop right here. That first right killed me. Um, Coming up, done. we got a little double header action between the Browns and the Bengals. Young Colin versus Joke. That'll be live. And then Cincinnati game. We'll have Nick and Tyler on the highlights of that one. Look for Luck to make a play here with his feet. Third and five. Here after the two-minute warning, he'll go to the air. Luck escapes to the outside. Throws it deep, and it's an He's overthrown. overthrow. Klopp is stopped with 154 to go, and now it's decision time. And a lot of the best Madden players, they think that if you have that Andrew Luck with escape artists, you got to match it with Dashing Deadeye because he's just not great at throwing on the run without it. And he's going to go. Madden move here on fourth and five, trying to close this one out. Looks like he has Troy P matched up over Hall. I don't like that. Luck. Gets Got the, the post again. again yeah, and yeah, X yeah, is yeah, open. Yeah. First down and more for Tyreek Hill. It's a touchdown, nice BG. Nice Great read by BG. Game. Set his feet that time. Didn't throw it on the run, it didn't look it. like. Just wide open. Great play call. Didn't even be close. Get out the game. This will make it a 10-point lead once again. Didn't work on the play before, but he comes back to it on fourth down. Kicking it to Tyreek again. If Tyreek is able to get in space, it's going to give it's going to give QC another chance. Uh, I would have liked to see him try to get Tyreek the ball there. And he'll lay down at the 28. 142 to go. Here it is one more time. This is fourth down, Mo. Yeah, you just can't go mano a mano, man to man coverage and have a spy. And you got to get to the quarterback there. I see the speed of Tyreek Hill running away from Danzel Ward. Harsh words by BG, but the score tells the facts. 31 21. He's got all three timeouts. You certainly don't want to use them. If you if you use one timeout here, you're going on side kick. If you can get the score, Barry makes the oh, see miss, see and he's off to the races. Barry, the goat, he's on his horse. Touchdown, QC. And we're gonna have a three-point game once again with 92 seconds to go, and BG can't believe it. Great stick there by QC. What I'm noticing with BG, he has the run defense, but he just doesn't have the stick work to go with it, Scott. So he's missing a lot of these one-on-one ta one tackles with his with his user, and it, if he's able to break that tackle to the computer, he's off to the races every single time. And with those three timeouts, he's gonna kick it deep, taken at his 15-yard line by BG. 
And he'll give himself up at the 25. Look at this again. One play. Whoop. Great juke. And look where he goes with Troy Palomalo. He's He should be able to make that tackle because Barry Sanders has even slowed down for those just that split second where you can just go down and tackle him. He just waited too long, and Barry Sanders is going to outrun Troy P every single time. First and 10, 90 seconds to go. New life for QC here. Tyreek will dot the eye. It's BG up by three, and that's a big play in the backfield. Timeout. Clock stopped now with 127 to go. Ball at the 24. I think we need to see zone here out of QC. Don't even commit to the run anymore. You almost need to guess that your opponent's going to pass because it, if you're able to stop the run, even if you don't blow it up in the backfield, you can get them to a third down, it's going to make them uncomfortable anyways. But if your opponent just is passing versus run defense, he's always going to be able to convert. Especially with Pollard back there. Here's Luck, quick throw to the outside. No one's on him. First down, Dante. But he goes out of bounds, Scott. If he was able to stay in bounds, the game would be over. So he'll stop the clock with 123 to go now, but he's got a new set of downs. If you're QC, you've got to get extremely aggressive here. That was the first grab for Dante, 13 yards, and Tyreek. Ball game. Can he get outside your brill? No. And I don't think he'll even use his timeouts. Controller down, pause, initiated, and BG holding on for dear life. And he's going to get the win here. 31 to 28 over QC, who certainly never gave up till the end. Yeah, and Tyreek Hill made every single play for BG that game. I think he might have scored every single touchdown for him, just wide open on so many occasions. Well, the NFC North starting to feel its way out as BG is going to be representing the Bears. And it was a tough one. I mean, we how many one play touchdowns did we see in this game? And here comes the highlights. Here for the Bears, and you know, we thought Keynes would be here. He's not here, and it's BG just putting on a show. Great throw there by Andrew Luck. Tyreek Hill, I was wondering if Denzel Ward could get to him, maybe keep him in bounds, give him another chance, but no, he wasn't able to. And just when you thought the game was over, uh-uh, bye, Felicia. And if you're BG, you know you got to make those tackles going into this top 32. You cannot miss those tackles. That is what can lose you games. you got to be confident in your stick work and just go make that tackle. This is the play that would end it. Tyreek Hill outrunning everybody. Jabril on the stop. But that would be it. BG with the win. 31 to 28. And you see his road. Got that six-point win over Canes. And then beating QC only by three. But that's enough to be the Bears champ, and he's standing by with Evan. Well, we were just chatting a little bit, the, the new Bears champ, and he said he doesn't really know what to say. <laughs> it's probably a bad time to start an interview, but I'm going to start it that way. So what do you have to say now that you are the Bears champion, man? I mean, it, it's everything I wanted for Madden. Like, you know, I, I started playing Madden. Um, I think in like Madden 16, I started playing Mutt, but then I started getting competitive in 19, and I really just was like watching all the top guys, and I, I, I wanted to be like that. So, you know, I took it really serious this year, and it's been my life, and I have a, a – I stream on Twitch. You know, I call those people my family over mm -hmm. there. Madden has really honestly changed my life in a really positive way, and I'm lucky that I'm – able to be here competing and and now that I want it it's like for my favorite team too it's like I don't even I don't know that's just crazy <laughs> like it's crazy and I mean talk about that not only that you won but for your favorite team what does it mean to be a Bears fan and also to win this championship I mean it means everything to me like the Bears have been my favorite team ever since I was little and I watch them every week like Mitch is gonna you know probably sling like five touchdowns tonight you know what I'm saying so it's awesome. It means everything to me. Now, you're in, you, you were very emotional in the game, and I, I want to <laughs> kind of tie into what was that about and uncover why so much emotion uh, during all those plays. Well, uh, like, if, if there's people who's watched my Twitch stream, like, it, it'll look normal for me, but, like, I, I don't know why when I play, I, like, it's just I'm competitive, and I just, and, and it, it's more like psyching me up more than, me trying to take away from my opponent. It's just like, it gets me hype. It gets me ready, ready to play and ready to make the play. Yeah. So, well, it seems like it's working out for you. That's definitely for yeah, sure. You guys had sure. a lot of back and forth. You started the game off with a nice run. Right. Obviously we're able to break it open, but then it was fourth and five late in the game. I want to walk you. I want to have you walk me through that play right here. 
Okay, so I knew he was just gonna run. Um, man, that's my money play, crosser, deep post, in route. I actually had the, the in route underneath, but I just, <laughs> <laughs> crosser was butt naked, so I threw it. Crosser was butt naked. I love the description there. You know, <laughs> what, a, what a change in person. It's so great to see that intensity, then the sweetness here. I really do look forward to seeing you play again, and, of course, the emotion that comes that. with your gameplay. Congratulations, BG. Thank He's you. the Bears champion. But let's kick it over to Scott. He's got an update on what's been hanging with the NFC North heading into the major. Yeah, Evan, the 